Does your patient suffer from weak hip flexor muscles? And are you unsure what you can do to help them? No worries, I'm Tatiana, your student physical therapist, and today I'm going to show you some passive range of motion, stretches, resistance and strengthening, and joint mobilizations you can do to help your patients out. Start off with your patient in supine. I will be demonstrating how to passively take your patient through the available range of motion that they have. Make sure you're stabilizing the patient correctly to ensure comfort and safety. You can do this by supporting the lower leg with your forearm and supporting the femur with the other hand. Make sure you're performing this slow and controlled. We would normally perform this five to 10 times. Also notice my body positioning with the legs separated apart and moving into a side lunge while moving the patient's lower extremity. Next, I will be demonstrating a few stretching techniques. Start with the patient in supine. Stabilize the pelvis and hold the ankle for support. Slowly lift the patient's involved leg up to stretch the hamstrings, since this is the muscle group that will be preventing the patient's hip flexion. Now let's show the patient how they can do this at home. Have the patient sit at the edge of the chair with their knee extended and foot flexed towards the ceiling. Have the patient keep a straight back and reach down towards their foot. This should be performed two to three times daily with a 20 to 30 second hold. And again, this is a type of static stretch. Now let's demonstrate a resistance and strengthening exercise. We will be doing a single leg raise. First, place an ankle weight on the patient and have them in supine with the uninvolved leg bent for stability. Have the patient lift the involved leg while keeping their knee extended. This doesn't need to be very high, just to the level of the opposite leg. This should be controlled and also can be performed at home. The frequency should be two to three times a week since we're working on the same muscle group. The intensity is going to be at that one pound weight and we will start them doing eight to 12 reps with two to three sets. And again, this is a strengthening exercise. For our joint mobilization, we will be doing a posterior glide to increase hip flexion. Assist the patient into getting into the proper position, which is supine at the edge of the table, holding the uninvolved side leg to their chest. The PT should wear the belt on the shoulder farthest from the patient and clip it underneath their leg for support and tighten as needed. Let the weight of the leg be held by the belt and support at the distal thigh with the hand. With the opposing arm, place the force downward with the elbow extended and flex the knees to produce force. Make sure the amount of force is a grade three or four to increase hip flexions and hold for 30 seconds, oscillatory three times.